scare tactics they use them such tactics include slander defamation threats getting close to disaffected or minimally committed fellow activists to persuade them via psychological tactics described above to turn against the movement and give false testimony against their former compatriots they will plant illegal substances on the activists and set up an arrest they will plant false information and set up exposure. They will send incriminating letters, emails in the name of the activist and more. They will do whatever society will allow. This booklet is nowhere, in no way covers all the ways agents use to sabotage the lives of sincere and dedicated activists. If an agent is exposed, he or she will be transferred or replaced. Cointel Pro is still in operation today under a different code name. It is no longer placed on paper where it can be discovered through the Freedom of Information Act. The FBI and other counterintelligence programs stated purpose to expose, disrupt, misdirect, discredit and otherwise neutralise individuals who the FBI or other intelligence agencies categorise as opposed to the national interests, national security, means that the FBI's security and other agencies' security from the people ever finding out the vicious things it does in violation of people's civil liberties. It's not just the FBI, it's all intelligence agencies, all government agencies that are into stuff like that, that are security for the cult of society. 17 techniques for truth suppression. Strong, credible allegations of high-level criminal activity can bring down a government. When the government lacks an effective fact-based defence, other techniques must be employed. The success of these techniques depends heavily upon the cooperative, compliant press and a mere token opposition party. Dummy up. If it's not reported, if it's not news, it didn't happen. Wax indignant. This is also known as, how dare you gambit. Characterise the charges as rumours, or better yet, wild rumours. If in spite of the news blackout, the public is still able to learn about the suspicious facts, it can only be through rumours. If they tend to believe the rumours, it must be because they are simply paranoid or hysterical. Knock down straw men. Deal only with the weakest aspects of the weakest charge, or charges. Even better, create your own straw men. Make up wild rumours, or plant false stories, and give them lead play when you appear to debunk all the charges real and fanciful alike call the skeptics names like conspiracy theorist nutcase ra ranter kook crackpot and of course rumor monger be sure to to use heavily loaded verbs and adjectives when characterizing their charges and defending the more reasonable government and its defenders you must then carefully avoid fair and open debate with any of the people you have thus maligned. For instance, for insurance, set up your own sceptics to shoot down. Impugn motives. Attempt to marginalise the critics by suggesting strongly that they are not really interested in the truth, but are simply pursuing a partisan political agenda or are out to make money, compared to overcompensated adherence to the government line who presumably are not. Invoke authority. Here, the controlled press and the sham opposition can be very useful. Dismiss the charges as old news. Come half clean. This is also known as confession and avoidance, or taking the limited hangout route. Sorry, route. Or route, I, we say route, not American. <laughs> this way you create the impression of candor and honesty while you admit only to relatively harmless, less than criminal mistakes. This stratagem often requires the embrace of a fallback position, quite different from the one originally taken. With effective damage control, the fallback position need only be peddled by stooge sceptics to carefully limited markets. Characterise the crimes as impossibly complex and the truth as ultimately unknowable. Reason backward using the dedu deductive method with a vengeance. With thoroughly rigorous deduction, troublesome evidence is irrelevant. Example, we have a completely free press. 
If evidence exists that the Vince Foster suicide note was forged, then they would have reported it. They haven't reported it, so there is no such evidence. Another variation on this theme involves the likelihood of a conspiracy leaker and a, and a press who would report the leak. So they say that they say, well, if it was a, such a huge conspiracy about heading the shape of the earth, then someone would have come out and leaked it by now, and the press would have reported it and all this lot. No, that just shows you there, look. Do you know what I mean? They're like saying they have a completely free press, but we know we haven't. Require the sceptics to solve the crime completely. Example, if Foster was murdered, who did it and why? So, if they're hiding the, the shape of the earth, then who did it and why? And, and show us a map and a model and show us this and show us that and prove it and all this lot. No, the proof is on the claim. The heliocentric model is the claim. Change the subject. We get this a lot. This technique includes creating or not publicising distractions. Lightly report incriminating facts and then make nothing of them. This is sometimes referred to as bump and run reporting. We seem to get that a lot and all in the mainstream, don't we, about this subject. They lightly report the incriminating facts and they make nothing of them. So they're doing a bump and run reporting. Boldly and brazenly lie. A favourite way of doing this is to attribute the facts furnished the public to a plausible sounding but anonymous source. Expanding further on numbers four and five, have your own stooges, expose scandals and champion popular causes. Their job is to pre-empt real opponents and to play 99 yard football. A variation is to pay rich people for the job who will pretend to spend their own money. Flood the internet with agents. Ah, let's see, here we go, look. Flood the internet with agents. This is the answer to the question. What could possibly motivate a person to spend hour upon hour of internet news groups defending the government and or the press or the globe earth and harassing genuine critics? Don't the authorities have defenders enough in all the newspapers, magazines, radio and television? One would think... We refusing to print critical letters and screening out serious callers or dumping them from radio talk shows will be controlled enough but obviously it is not like I said all these are under fair use uh, for educational purposes it doesn't say anything in here about copyright anyway I don't think but just in case let's have a quick look uh, no there's no copyright on here anyway so um, that's it really uh, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description of each video I've done I think I've done 6 videos I think um, I hope this helps um, you to discern when you're online um, and looking at mainstream and stuff like that and especially a bit about the groups and the, um, the infiltration of groups and stuff like that and the setting up of groups and stuff like that thank you